Hello everyone, so welcome back to my channel. This is the Metatron speaking and today we have another video review for Forseti Steel. I have received one of their knives again, it's a second time. So without further ado, let's check this blade out. Alright then, so as I said, it's the second time I receive a free knife from Fossetti Steel and of course I'd like to thank them and in particular thank my friend Daniel and Kirk who have sent uh, these uh, knives for me. So this is the knife in question, it's called uh, Gurkha, it's Damascus Steel and we're going to examine this knife but of course you can see that I've got another knife here in my hand and that's because I have received, the, well I received this knife uh, a few months ago, in fact I made already a video review for them and if you have missed out please check it in the description in the video description down below if you want to see the video review of this knife but today we've got a much bigger knife to review and considering the fact that I myself tend to prefer bigger knives this is going to be interesting So this is the Gurkha Damascus steel and uh, knife. It's an interesting blade. Um, at the moment the uh, price is $138 on their site. I'd like to underline now that for all of you who are uh, noble ones, members of the community, you can receive a 25% discount on all items and all knives, and I think they've got a couple of access as well, on their site uh, by entering the coupon METATRON. Now let's begin with the specifics. Overall length 9.5 inches, handle length 4 inches, blade length 5.5 inches, blade material Damascus steel 1095, 15 and 20, blade thickness 4 millimeters, Damascus pattern raindrop, number of layers 264, grind secondary level, handle material marble buffalo horn includes a hand-stitched full-grain leather sheath with belt loop. Okay, so now we know how the knife is built, but how does it feel in the hand? Well, of course, I'm going to do some uh, cutting, test cutting, um, and a little bit of... Uh, I'll try, I'll, I'll just move it around as I normally do with these weapons, but I've got to say that one thing that we need to say about Fossetti steel knives is that the construction is solid. This is not one of those knives that you stab something and it breaks. This is not going to break in, on you. So even if $138 is a little bit expensive, considering the 25% discount you can get with the Metatron coupon, I think think it's definitely a good purchase if you like Damascus steel patterns and you want a knife that doesn't cost you a fortune but it's well built. As far as blade geometry is concerned as you can see the knife actually tapers towards the tip we've got a certain amount of uh, distal taper. As far as the the blade pattern, the Damascus pattern, is random. Now, of course, it, this uh, is much a uh, matter of personal preference. Personally, I find it as artistically pleasing to the eye, but again, this is something that has to do, to do with the way you like blades. If you compare it with the other knife that I have received before, uh, then you can see that the pattern is completely different. So again, this is personal preference. Out of the two, I do tend to prefer the other one because I'm more into uh, symmetry and uh, than random patterns, but, but this is still very interesting to look at. The knife comes sharp. Uh, the level of sharpness, okay, it's reasonably sharp, let's put it this way. It's not like the sharpest it could be, but of course that's an easy fix if that's what you want. The handle is quite ergonomic, as you can see it tends to be just right, maybe slightly small if you have big hands. So if you have, if you have big hands then I would rather refrain from buying this pro uh, model and perhaps look at other ones that I will uh, review anyways on this channel, so perhaps wait for, the, for those. But if, if you've got like a middle hand like mine, sort of standard, then or a small hand, then this feels absolutely fine. 
Ultimately, uh, the question that I often uh, that I'm often asked is: Is this modelled on anything historical? Is this and could we consider it to be historically accurate? Well, it's actually a modern reproduction, okay, and it's in it uh, with quite a lot of artistic freedom. So I I would consider it to be a standalone piece rather than the perfect replica or something used historical. Okay, it might be loosely based on something um, Indian, I believe, or Persian, because of this sort of uh, curvature that the blade has, if you can see. But of course, it's not a knife you buy because you want to do a historical reenactment with it's a knife you buy because you like knives and uh, you want something that is built well and it sort of feels right in the hand so if you're interested in knives you want to collect knives you want to buy knives then definitely check out the page you will find a link in the description below the knife comes with a leather sheath that we're gonna examine now so you can actually wear it on your belt if that's what you want to do Alright, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content from the Metatron. And remember, the Metatron has spread his wings. Goodbye.